What should we as Muslims do during the current situations happening in Palestine? Uh, we as individuals now present here, we are weak. We don't have uh, many means to be done. Whoever has means, of course, uh, by asking the people of knowledge they should do. Uh, but uh, as the ulama, they say, first of all, when it comes to the general means and the specific means to the situation. So that it's not just some, some days as always things keep on happening and people get excited and they get affected and then everything goes back to normal. So the, the, the thing that is important and incumbent upon every Muslim is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we read the Quran, we see that everything happens by the permission of Allah. There's a wisdom behind it. So to have the proper belief and to understand things right by reading the Quran, first and foremost, not by necessarily listening to what people say that comes secondary. The Quran will explain to you the matter very clearly because this is religion and nothing else. This is not politics. This is not human rights. This is nothing of this. This is deen. This is the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have it all in our deen and the matter is explained clearly in the Quran. And that's why we need to read the Quran as the people of knowledge to understand how things are. What's behind all of this? What's the... What is this all about? And what is the duty of a Muslim in such a case? And the Muslim Ummah had faced all kinds of evil times and atrocities, atrocities before. And how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed their situation. Uh, and why the reason for these things to happen. First of all, to test the believers. Uh, when they turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring them to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by these matters, expiate their sins. To, that's why repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to witness the wisdom of Allah and that the punishment of Allah is severe. And those who commit evil actions, they will be punished by Allah unless they repent to Allah, unless they return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so severe. And when you think about if something uh, is, is happening now, after 100 years from now, everybody will see the effect of their actions. You know, if we're weak and oppressed at a certain time, we have Al-Qawi, Al-Aziz, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, the most powerful subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said to the Sahaba to say to the Mushrikeen, Allah maulana wa la maula lakum. Allah is our maula, our supporter, and you have no helper and supporter whatsoever, even if it's the entire human beings and, and everyone else. Uh, and the uh, so to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to call people to be upon this, and to be guarding the front of the deen by being upon the ilm, spreading the proper knowledge and advising others to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to invent ways uh, by just being emotional and making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and never to belittle the dua. Uh, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this uh, from uh, the ummah and to make us return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to bring what is best inshallah ta'ala and to put things in perspective. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. This is something that needs more details to be mentioned. And uh, sincere advice, don't be weak. And don't be broken by what you see. As some Many people would say, I'm not able to do anything. With all of these evil things that we see, uh, don't get yourself into that state. Don't be weak. Don't let them make you weak. And do not... Let them make you in state of grief when you are the superior one, if you are believers. So to perfect our belief and to stay away from uh, these types of things that makes us weak. But instead, you know, to get to know what is sufficient for you to make lots of dua, mashallah, this is good. To give charity and to help the poor and the needy and so on. But for someone to give up on the mercy of Allah, this is haram. This is a sinful thing. But for someone to say, oh, when is the victory of Allah is going to come? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. This is haram. This is thinking bad about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a result of those who have weak iman, and they allow themselves to weaken themselves. Well, the believers are strong because everything is by Allah. And the real happiest ones are those who when they die, they die as martyrs and they receive the mercy of Allah. And it shows the evil actions. Of, and it becomes also, you get to know who your enemies. So many people are deceived. They don't know their enemies. So these types of things make them very clear who are their enemies so that they have loyalty to Allah and his religion and to the believers, and they have this enmity in the hearts to the evil ones. And that should not change after a week or after a few days, like how people are always with these types of emotional things.
جزاكم خيرا بالنسبه لي فور تيك تو ماتش تايم استنى خلينا نشوف الصوره